Hello again, everybody, and welcome back to Criminal Law and Ethics Part 2. Alright, um, hope you enjoyed Part 1. This is Part 2. Part 2, we're going to be talking about specific crimes. Crimes, um, not necessarily a procedure and what criminal law is, but specific crimes. And the first crime we're going to talk about is robbery. Alright, robbery. What is robbery? We all know what it is, right? Well, what is it? What's the definition of robbery? Robbery, basically, is the taking of personal property. All right, not real property, personal property. Real property is our houses and apartment buildings, stuff like that. This is personal property, your uh, cell phone, your computer, your car, or something like that. Taking a personal property from another by use of fear or force. All right, you have to intimidate the victim in some way. All right, you have to use force to get that item from them. All right, if there's no fear or force, then it's not robbery. All right, so robbery is the taking of a person of personal property from another by use of fear or force. If there's no fear of force, it's something else. Burglary. All right, we got robbery, right? Now burglary, something different. And this is the common law definition of burglary. This has changed over time, but it's the breaking and entering of a dwelling. When I say dwelling, what do I mean? A home, an apartment, some place where someone lives. All right, so it's a breaking. And entering, all right, it's breaking, like breaking, opening the door, breaking in, and entering of a dwelling at night. That's the common law version. It used to be just at night. That is now changed, all right. So now you can do burglaries during the day, but originally it was just at night. So if I ask you on the quiz, under common law, give me the common law definition of burglary, and you must include at night, all right, with the intent to commit a felony therein. All right, doesn't necessarily mean to rob the place it could be to commit another felony beating somebody up um, that kind of stuff all right burglary is the breaking and entering of a dwelling a home at night common law not necessarily now with the intent to commit a felony therein larceny another crime larceny is the wrongful or fraudulent taking of another's personal property. Okay, you see the difference between um, robbery and larceny. This is just the wrongful taking of another person, another's personal property. Robbery, there has to be some force or intimidation. Okay, if there's no force or intimidation. It's larceny. If there's force or intimidation, force or fear, it's burglary. Okay. Arson, one of my favorites. Just kidding. Arson is the malicious or willful burning of another's dwelling, okay? It can be an accident. You can uh, knock something over and the place catches on fire. It has to be the malicious or willful burning of another's dwelling. Dwelling, again, is somebody's home, apartment, that kind of thing. Homicide. All right, we're going to get into big ones now. Homicide is the killing of a human being due to the act or failure to act of another. Okay? It's the killing of a human being due to an act or failure to act of another. So you can kill somebody by acting, stabbing them, shooting them, or failing to act. All right, Seeing that they are going to fall over a cliff and you don't try to stop them. It's a bad example, but it's the best I can do. Um, or if they're going to drink poison and you don't stop them. You know it's poisonous, you know it's going to kill them, you allow them to drink it anyways. Okay? So it's a killing of a human back to of a human being due to a certain act or failure to act. Okay. Criminal homicide includes murder and manslaughter. All right. Homicide is his overarching definition and includes murder and manslaughter. Homicide, non-criminal homicides, non-criminal homicides include killing and self-defense, a misadventure like a hunting accident or automobile accident. With um, that kind of stuff, or legal government executions. So you have criminal homicide, including murder and manslaughter, and non criminal homicide, which includes killing in self defense, a hunting accident, car accident, or the government slice and execute somebody. Alright, suicide is a homicide. Alright, be aware that suicide is a homicide, but it's rarely prosecuted. Think about it. Just think about it. Just think about it. 
under homicide, we have murder, criminal homicide, we have murder, right? And under murder, we have first degree murder. All right, first degree murder is killing which is deliberate and premeditated. All right, you have to be planned. All right, or lying after lying in wait in conjunction with felonies such as rape, burglary, arson. It involves multiple deaths, killing a certain type of person like a child, police officer, prison guard, something like that. So first degree murder it has to be premeditated and has to be in conjunction with another felony. Okay? Alright, so first degree, premeditated in conjunction with other felonies. Second degree murder is an intentional killing that is not premeditated or planned, nor committed in the heat of passion. Or a killing caused by dangerous conduct and the offender's obvious lack of concern for human life. Okay? So second degree murder differentiates from first degree murder. First degree murder has to be premeditated. Alright? Second degree it doesn't. Alright? There's no plan, but you kill somebody anyways. But it's not in the heat of passion. I mean that's something different, that's manslaughter. Alright, so it's kinda like in the middle. You got these big plans, there's a heat of passion, it's in the middle. All right, and it's not done in conjunction with another felony. It's a standalone. You can be charged with second degree murder, convicted of second degree murder, just on second degree murder charges. Okay. Let's talk a little bit about white collar crimes. I'm wearing a white shirt. It fits perfectly. White collar crimes, embezzlement. All right, embezzlement is the fraudulent conversion of property by a person with whom the property was entrusted. Okay, embezzlement is the fraudulent conversion of property, money, say, by a person with whom that property is trusted. All right, so the attorney is a good example. You know, attorneys, we have trust accounts. We're tr entrusted with our client's money. If we use that money for anything else besides our clients, for, besides for client purposes, we can be charged with embezzlement, right? Because we converted that money, that property, and we were trusted with that property and we didn't have the authority to do it, we can be charged with embezzlement. Okay, you got your white collar crime there. Got his white shirt on, everybody's happy. Our money laundering, another white collar crime. Mail wire fraud, other various white collar crimes. Bribery, RICO statutes, racketeering statutes. That's what pretty much wrapped up the Italian mafia on the RICO statutes. Racketeering Influence Corrupt Organizations Act, I think. All right. Last thing I want to talk to you about are things called inchoate crimes. And this will be definitely be on the quiz. Um, inchoate crimes are criminal conspiracy, attempt, and aiding and abetting. Okay? Three inchoate crimes, conspiracy, attempt to commit a crime, and aiding and abetting after a crime has been committed. So if I ask you on the quiz, name three inchoate crimes, there you go. Nice and easy. All right. Conspiracy. Criminal conspiracy means two or more enter into an agreement to commit a crime, all right? So conspiracy has to be two or more. I mean, you can't conspire with yourself. Um, so it's two or more people enter into some form of agreement, does not be written, to commit a crime. But the important thing is they must take an overt act in furtherance of that crime. They just can't talk about it, all right? They have to take some form of overt act in furtherance of that crime, all right? By a gun. Um, buy a map of, or case the bank, something like that. They have to do something in furtherance of that crime, which will count it as a conspiracy. Attempt is a crime itself. All right, I understand that. So if I ask you true or false, is contempt a crime itself? True. Okay, very easy. Even if never completed. All right, so the attempt itself is a crime, even if the actual act is never completed. So if you go to kill somebody, you want to murder that person. First degree murder. It's planned. You break into their house. It's a felony. Other felony. It's first degree murder. You go into the into the house and you can't complete. You can't murder that person for whatever reason. It doesn't matter. You'll still be charged with intent to commit murder. Okay. Aiding and abetting. Assist others in a crime. Rendering support, assistance, that kind of stuff. Or even encouragement. Go. Go OJ. Right down the highway. Um, that kind of stuff. Harboring a criminal would be considered aiding and abetting. So, you know, this is where family members sometimes get themselves in trouble. You know, somebody commits a crime, goes home, they tell the cops he's not here. 
they can be charged with aiding, aiding and abetting a crime. All right, again, this is a crime itself also, just like um, attempt. The end. Okay. Again, quiz coming up on Friday. Quiz will open up first thing in the morning at 7 a.m. to close on Saturday evening at 8 p.m. Any questions, comments, concerns in the interim, please feel free to reach out. I'll be happy to discuss anything with you. Take care.